Hey, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna have an interesting video because I have a rock chip in both my Honda Odyssey and my Lexus. Here's what it looks like. It's really a small one from the outside. And here's the other one on the Lexus. But from the inside, it's actually really noticeable. So I bought this Rain-X windshield repair kit. It may fix the problem. We'll see, I've never used one of these before. So we'll see if we can figure out how to fix it. All right, so let's open this up. Okay, so we've got a razor blade. We've got some plastic films. We've got this thing here. Through the resin chamber, that'll be this. <laughs> okay, so you s squeeze some drops in here, push this down. It's basically gonna plunge it and then force it through this nozzle into the crack. So when you put this on, you're gonna screw this in. And then basically the this is gonna press up against the windshield. This is like rubber, so you're gonna press it to where the windshield is flat with a rubber, and that's how you know you have a seal. So they're, they're basically, this is gonna create a seal on the windshield. And so that means that this, this uh, unit or contraption thing only works if the hole of the, of the brake is smaller than this tube here. This. So first thing we're going to do is just wipe it, as it said, just wipe it with a cloth. I'm going to look through this until I can see the center of the, of the brake, and that's how I know that this is centered, and then I'll push down. So I'm just eyeballing it. Okay, when you look through here, you'll see it's directly over the brake. All right, then we're gonna insert this, the apparatus as they call it. And then one more time, I'm just gonna look through here and make sure I can see the brake. There it is. All right, so we're gonna push it down and you can see how it just created the seal right there. All right, so just gonna go right under here and boop and we're gonna measure out three to six to drop depending on the extent of the damage. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we'll go with five. We have our stuff in there. Now I'm going to plunge through this in. So we let it sit for a few minutes. Remove the plunger. And I'm gonna plunge it back in. So this will do it up to five times. I mean, it looks like it's helped a little. I don't know how much I put in because I didn't look that time. I put it directly inside. That should be, it's hot. I definitely applied heat. All right, that's what it looks like afterwards. It's still there, but it's a lot better. This is what it looks like in the van afterwards. It's not fully gone, but this is better. This is looking really good. So there's a tiny little bubble in here I can't get out, which I'm gonna just gonna leave. And the last thing I'm gonna do is just put a tiny, oops, a bit of resin over it. And then I put this plastic over and what that'll do is allow it to harden and then create a new sort of seal on the windshield. There we go. Just dabbing a tiny bit. And we'll put this plastic strip over it. 
metal dry. All right, this should be, yep, it's dry. The last thing I'm gonna do is just scrape some of the excess resin. As you can see, it comes right off. Once it cures, it cures into almost like a little like glue. This was pretty easy. It took about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes total time. Did two cars. I probably have enough to do it two more times, I would say. I haven't tried any other brands, but I guess I would, I would still recommend it because it took probably 75% of all of the uh, rock chip away. And so it's definitely a lot less noticeable. It's not 100% gone, but it did a decent enough job. In terms of difficulty, I'd say it was a one out of five. You could easily do this and you're not really at risk of messing anything up. Hope this video was helpful. We'll catch you next time.